So someone on Discord hired me to help them with their game, and it's not like I have anything else to do, so let's do it. So here I have a list of everything I have to do. Now this isn't everything, but it's most of it. So let's put this on Trello and make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so this is it. So let's start off with the leader stats. And there you go. So that part's done and now we can go make the leaderboard. So this is what we're working with. So the points are on the left and the wins are on the right. And I have to do this for the global and the server leaderboard. Okay, and let's go test it out. So this is the global leaderboard and this is the server leaderboard. Wait, what happened to the Discord symbols? And now let's speedrun making a few things. Wait, what? What is this? Um, let's see if I can fix it up. And here is the final thing. So we split all the buttons into two separate pages and uh, they all fit on all devices now. And with the shop done, we can now start scripting the shop by starting with the buttons. And now we need to make the frames pop up whenever you click on one of the name tags. Well, that took six tries. At least it works now. And now we just have to make the name tags appear over the player's head when you click the button. Which is a lot easier said than done. So first you have to check how many wins the player has. And you have to make it so that when they press equip... Uh, the name tag gets equipped on make sure them. that the original one and they also have to make uh, sure that that's saved inside the data store so that when they leave a game with like this name tag they join back with the same name tag oh look at that looks like I did everything that I just said that's pretty cool um let's move on to the next things okay so one thing that you might notice is uh we're kind of in a different game right now. Yeah, no Sherlock. And uh, that's because the owner completely abandoned the original game. Uh, so I've basically taken over uh, the game, which I, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it right now. However, I did make this, um, I guess, elevator thing. <laughs> that moves up and down this glass platform like that. So this is when it moves up. And it moves up to, you know, this upper area. And you can also get on it. And then it will take you down to the lower area. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Just like that. Um, so, I made this viewing platform. Because uh, I lied when I said, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it right now. I do actually have an idea of what I want to do. Basically, I want to make a maze that randomly generates itself... Um, every single time and then this is like the maze will be right under this viewing platform uh, but I'm not too sure how to make that so face hit the plus sign add a script let's call the script Wow guys ch check that out uh, we have a randomly generated maze Wow, I, I wonder how I could have possibly done that. Um, so, so the walls are a bit funky. And you can see over them. So, what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to limit the amount that you can zoom out. And, uh, I'm also probably just going to make the walls higher. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, this is actually really well made. So thanks to this person for making this randomly generated maze. Um, I'll leave his YouTube link down in the description below, pinned comment, or you can check it out on this info thingy on the top right of the screen right now. Um, you know, this is actually really cool because I have no idea how to make this. Um, I, I just know that it works. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And as you can see from uh, max camera zoom, uh, you can actually see over the walls just barely. So we're going to limit it a little bit more. So yeah, as you can see, it works. I'm inside this randomly generated maze right now. So now that we have the random maze done, what we can do is add a platform all the way down here on the ground, just like that. Uh, and we can use this platform to basically teleport all the players uh, it, onto this platform whenever the map is um, done. What we can do is write a quick script that takes everybody inside the server and teleports them down to the base plate. And then after um, an intermission or like a timer, uh, they will be teleported back onto the platform. Okay, so I am inside the game right now. And as you can see, um, it should teleport me very soon. Uh, in like any, any second. Okay, there we go. So we are down here and hopefully... Uh, it will teleport me all the way up there in a few seconds. Um, and okay. That works. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, so we got the teleporting system done. And now we just have to hook, um, you know, everything up to a remote event. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. So when the game starts, we're going to fire a remote event. Pretend that's a remote event right there. And then when the remote is fired, we will generate a new maze. And then we will also start a timer. When we start the timer, it will start into the intermission timer. And then when that runs out, uh, it will go into the game timer. And then it will also teleport everybody into the maze. And then when the game timer finishes, it will go all the way back to the remote event. And then it will generate a new maze and reset the timer and then it's a it's a full loop so i hooked everything up to a bindable event because that seems to work a little bit better so right now we have the intermission going on which allows time for the maze underneath us to basically start generating and then when the intermission hits zero we'll all be teleported um, down there to complete the maze and then if you complete the maze you'll get a win a streak and uh, oh yeah you also get a name tag if you hit uh, five streaks which is pretty cool okay so that is basically the entire game and now I'm just gonna quickly make a few settings things and then uh, I think we are done and a few updates later and some epic in-game music the game is now done if you want, you can play the game, it will be the first link in the description below, and I'll probably be updating this game once in a while, or whenever I feel like it, uh, but the update logs will be on my second channel, which is Goat Sharpener. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!